In this video, you'll learn to analyze how well your logistic regression model performs using a visualization called the ROC curve. ROC stands for Receiver Operating Characteristic, and it was named after its use by military radar receivers in the 1940s. We'll continue working on the same notebook as the last two videos, where we talked about analyzing and preparing our data and training our model using logistic regression. Make sure you open the notebook you worked on and run all the existing code before adding the new code described in this video. The ROC curve is a plot that helps us analyze the performance of a binary classifier as its decision threshold varies. Let's break down this definition a bit. A binary classifier is really just any ML model that classifies inputs as one of two categories. The logistic regression model we trained in our previous video is a binary classifier because it classifies plump pumpkins as orange or white. In binary classification, we need to choose the threshold for the classification, or the value that separates one class from the other. Remember that logistic regression outputs lie between 0 and 1, and often our classification threshold is 0 0.5. In our scenario, this means that output values smaller than 0.5 get classified as orange, otherwise they get classified as white. But we can choose a different threshold. And if we do, that will impact the results of the confusion matrix. Remember the confusion matrix? We learned about it in our last video, but let's look at it again. We will learn how to calculate many different metrics using the confusion matrix. For the ROC curve, we'll need to consider the true and false positive rates. The true positive rate is just another name for recall, which is the fraction of packages we correctly predicted as white out of all packages that are actually white. The false positive rate is the fraction of orange packages we incorrectly predicted as white out of all packages that are actually orange. To draw an ROC plot, we consider a classification threshold value, we calculate the corresponding true and false positive rates, and we add a new point to the plot using the true positive rate as the Y value and the false positive rate as the X value. Then we repeat for several different classification thresholds, eventually ending up with a curve. Doing this in code is a bit simpler. We just need to call the ROC curve function and give it our actual and predicted labels. We get back lists containing the false positive rates, true positive rates, and the thresholds. And we use the first two to plot our curve. Let's think about the shape of the ROC curve for a moment and see how it relates to the formulas. If our threshold is zero, then we classify all inputs as positive. Because we don't have any values classified as negative, our true, po true positive and false positive rates are both one. On the other hand, if our threshold is one, then we classify all inputs as negative. Because we don't have any values classified as positive, our true positive and our false positive rates are both zero. So our ROC plot will always contain the points zero, zero and one, one. What happens in between depends on how good your predictions are. Ideally, we want the true positive rate to be as close as possible to one and the false positive rate to be as close as possible to zero. So the ideal curve would go straight from zero, zero to zero, one to one, one. It turns out that the ROC curve for our logistic regression model is pretty close to the ideal one. This is super cool because it confirms that we did a good job with data preparation and training. I'm confident that we can make really good predictions with this model. We can summarize how good our ROC curve is by calculating the area under the curve using the ROC AUC score function. The area under the ideal curve would be one, so we want to get as close to that as possible. We're quite close to one, which is great. I hope that you learn a lot in this video and that you'll be able to apply this knowledge to your own data. 